Happy Monday, it's Tony here and my musings today, I just want to just refer back to what we've gone through over the last three days. Myself and Sophie, we've been away on a mindset retreat with the wonderful Eileen Makota Davies and this has been about self-sabotage. And self-sabotage is something that personally I've been brilliant at. I should have had a PhD, a doctorate in self-sabotage because I've held myself back in so many ways for so many years that it's just crazy. When we start to understand that it's the things that we're actually saying to ourselves. There's a brilliant book here. Okay, You can't afford the luxury of a negative thought. Brilliant book. Another brilliant book that uh, I've been reading recently is What to Say When You Talk to Yourself. Do you realise that we're thinking all the time, even when you're not aware that you're thinking? That's quite a frightening thought, isn't it? Are you aware that your subconscious mind is working for you 97% of the time and that we're only consciously aware of what we're doing for 3% of the time? That's a fact. Our mind is working for us. We're having conversations with ourselves all the time and we're not even aware that we're having conversations with ourselves. I found eventually that I was having arguments with myself. I found eventually that sometimes I'd say, you what? And the way that the mind works is that it believes everything that we impress onto it. So when we say, well, oh, that'd never work for me. When you say, I'm not good enough. I don't deserve it. He's better than me. She's better than me. I'm too fat. I'm too old. These are all well ways that we self-sabotage yourself. That person would never be interested in me. I'm not good enough to go for that job. All of these things are self-sabotaging. They're holding you back. So stop it. Stop it right now. It's as simple as that. That's all you have to do. Just stop it. You don't need to go and see any therapists. You don't need to come and see me. Just stop it. Just say positive. If only it was that simple. You see, the way that the mind is structured is that we have things called paradigms. And those paradigms on controlling are logic. They're controlling the way that we think. So when you think that everything's okay, when you think that you're doing something daft, your logic's going to talk you out of it. That's why you need help. That's why you need somebody to be objective with you so that you can get a little bit of clarity on the things that you can do to change what's going on. Bit by bit, through repetition, through constant self-re-evaluation, of yourself, of your abilities, of your willingness, you can start to change your life. And that, I think it's a damn good idea if you change your life. Because I don't know anybody that's got the perfect life. Even the people that we really look up to have problems. But you see, when they have the problems, they view them in a slightly different way to the normal person. They view them as an opportunity. How do you view problems? Do you view it as, oh God, that's a bit of a boundary, that's a bit of a barrier, I'm going to struggle to get over that? Or do you go, oh, there's an opportunity here? Because if you're having really big challenges thrown at you, you've got equally big opportunities. So are you going to search for the opportunities or are you just going to focus on what the problem is? See, that's the difference between a successful person and somebody else that's just getting along. The vast majority of people are just getting along. If you're doing absolutely fantastic, you can do even better than you are right now. And I'm not bothered what level you're at. I can do far better than I'm currently doing. And I'm working on that. I'm already doing far better than I was doing last year and far better than I was doing the year before because I've been working on myself for such a long time now. But I'm going to continue working on myself because I'm nowhere near the finished article. So, how are you sabotaging yourself? What are you going to do about stopping sabotaging yourself because there's enough people out there trying to stop you why are you doing it to yourself crazy world in it anyway have a brilliant day it's been nice speaking to you cheers